big decisions this election and one getting a lot of buzz is question four. It determines whether the state will legalize recreational marijuana for adults. WMER 2 News' is Kendall Green is putting the issue for us in focus tonight. Our commitment to going beyond the headlines, he is checking the pulse of voters and looking at why those who treat addictions are taking a cautious look at the potential outcome. Recreational marijuana, whether you think it's good or bad for the state, depends on who you talk to, but that's going to be a key issue on the ballot next week. Some like Jaden, all for it. I want it legalized. I feel like it's good. It's good benefits for us. Others, on the other hand, not so much. Uh, my thought is that they shouldn't legalize it because I think it would create more problems. Maryland joins five other states this month, making that decision at the polls. So we want to advocate for people to make informed choices. Dr. John Gallagher has spent decades treating those with marijuana addiction. While he stopped short of stating his stance, he notes both positives and negatives with the issue. Yeah, so the, the anticipated benefit, which I certainly see as a positive benefit for, for urban African-American communities, for black and brown communities, would be a reduction in arrest and criminal prosecution. The key for him, though, is making sure the right information about it is out there, specifically surrounding addiction. Not everyone who uses marijuana will become addicted to it. Not everyone who uses marijuana even frequently will become addicted to it. Estimating about 30 percent of frequent users, that's about four to five times a week, which he says shows up in four related symptoms, increased tolerance, withdrawal symptoms, and what he calls cognitive cravings. The brain is saying, I need the drug to feel a certain way. I need the drug to function. And the fourth, loss of control, where an individual becomes unable to maintain the boundaries of use they've set for themselves. That's his concerns from a clinical social worker's lens. Yes, if more people are using it, there is certainly a higher likelihood of more people becoming dependent on marijuana. For like, but voters like Jaden make a common comparison that, based on stats, suggests it's less lethal. Like, when you, you take drinking and you take marijuana, well, how many more deaths you going to see for marijuana compared to a DUI? The majority of voters vote yes to question four. The state's constitutional amendment will legalize the recreational use of marijuana for those 21 and up in July of 2023. In Baltimore, Kendall Green, WMAR 2 News. So let's